This week's reading explored whether it is better for a leader to be loved or feared. It should come as no surprise that many leaders and managers want to be liked by their direct reports. However, leaders must be aware that making decisions based on whether or not they will be well received could lead to major problems. Leaders often have to make unpopular decisions if it is in the best interest of the organization as a whole. Some employees might feel slighted or uncomfortable taking on extra work, but this is necessary for the greater good. Furthermore, ensuring long-term results often requires making sacrifices in the short term. Moreover, leaders must be careful and always wanting to be loved because this could mean that they have no ability to elicit motivation or worse, are walked over by their, directed reports, by their direct reports. This is why it is also important for leaders to at least somewhat be feared so that employees know that there will be consequences if they slack off. The article states... The article states then that being both loved and feared are two critical traits because they signal a leader's intentions and whether or not she or he is capable of acting out on those intentions. The article then goes on to describe that leaders need to develop a sense of trust and camaraderie with their employees before projecting their strength. Without this trust, leaders are unlikely to be very effective. Rather, they are likely to breed resentment among the employees of the organization, resulting in poor leadership performance. Therefore, leaders must begin with warmth before they project strength. This will lead to the greatest amount of respect and best balance between likability and fear. In my experience, I definitely feel that this is the right way to go about being a leader. For example, all of my football coaches definitely have had their very varying degrees of likability and fear among the players, but the best coaches are the ones who show that they truly care about your best interests, as well as the best interests of the team, and will take all the steps necessary in order to get everybody moving towards their personal and team goals.